Welcome back, golf fans. As you can see, I'm still joined here by the snazzy dress, the lavender Chris Tremblay. <laughs> Who the is, Ian Poulter look. Ah, man, it really looks good on you, but you better be able to bring your that. game if you're going to wear something like That's that. That's part of the outfit. The yeah, part good. of it is you got to have game to go Put with Put a little it. pressure on it. Yeah, yeah it helps. But uh, listen, guys, we're going to be talking putting. It, it gets always understated, I think, when you look at these guys, amateurs especially, banging drivers and, and long irons off the range when they'd really cut down on that handicap if they just go over and work on some putting. But they got to work on the right technique. So start us No doubt, here. Daniel. The, you know, putting is certainly the place where I'm not going to say we gain the most, but that's where most people lose the most. Right. And to go ahead and help them avoid that, we've got a few ideas for you today to practice at home. First of all, I brought in three different kinds of putters to make sure that you understand the different heads that kind of correlate with maybe your stroke. First of all, we have the face balance putter. I'm going to go over that in a sec. But these two putters right here, a blade putter and this putter right here, it's more of the old ping answer. The blade putter having more of the insertion into the heel. And that's the kind that you said you'd like if you'd right. hold that for a sec. And the face balance putter. Great thing about a face balance putter, when I go ahead and put it here on my finger, we can tell that the face is still even with the horizon. Hmm. Helps us a little bit more when we have an off-center hit because we have more mass around the outside to keep that head nice and straight. This is one of this is my personal preference right here as a face um, balance putter or mallet. Head. So face balance putters can actually correct a stroke that might be a little inside out. They can be or very beneficial in. for somebody that's not hitting the middle of the putter very often. Gotcha. Many people grew up with that look right there that you have the blade putter, and right. that's what they get used to. Phil Mickelson always uses that, and that's what he prefers. And quite a few of us did grow up with the putter that has the ping answer look to it. Offset. Little offset right here in the hosel, goes in just inside the heel, also a very popular model. What does the offset actually do? How do what is, well, how does that it delays the hit just a little bit and for most people it helps them to hit down into the ball just a little bit more. I see. Which gets it spinning and rolling the way we Pops want that. as opposed to lifting it up in the air and having right. it have you know a little the back bounce. spin and doing a bounce or two. Right. Gotcha. So to go ahead and help everybody at home, what we'd like to do is make sure, first of all, that you have a proper setup. Proper setup in putting is what? Well, number one, you need to be relaxed. Number two, we need to be in such a position where our arms can hang. If your arms can't hang and swing, you're probably up too high, and that's going to cause your arms to go around you more. It causes the face to open and close, which means you have a very small window to hit the ball on the line you want. Club face isn't square very long. Exactly. Yeah. So like I said, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have a nice swing to our arms. Secondly, a good drill we can do, and I'm gonna have you do it, is get yourself set like I just said, okay. bend yourself over, move your arms back and forth a little bit, just kind of swing them there. Okay, now with your hands together, sort of in the prayer position, fingers pointed down, I'd like you to go ahead and start making a few strokes, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna hold this rod right here okay. on the top of your knees to make sure that you're not moving your knees at all. So no lower body movement no in the putting No lower body stroke. movement at all. Okay. So it's all shoulder. Is that what it feels arms. like to you? It really and does. And that's why I have people do this drill. We use this heavily at the Island Golf School and Junior Players Golf Academy because it really can help you get the feel of what the stroke should be. Because we see a lot of this from time to time where somebody strokes and then they move their legs like that and the rod instead of staying nice and still. And what is the cause for something like that, Chris? Because Sometimes you do, you do see that a lot in amateurs. It especially. could be a lack of mobility or flexibility for the individual mm -hmm. or just not being able to identify that they're doing it. And right. once you show them and they get the feel, right. and the feel is key, it's easier for them to stay there as opposed to moving. So that's the first thing they can do at home, especially to help their putting, is make sure that they've got a proper feel of their stroke, which means arms hanging with your palms together. You should be able to move your hands back and forth. Sure. No lower body movement at all. Secondly, the device we have right here on the ground is called a putting arc. If you'd be kind enough to put the heel of the putter right against there, Okay. Yeah, and go ahead and start moving yourself the putter back and forth, leaving it right on the putting arc. And let's make about five or six of those strokes right there. Keep the putter right on there. It's not always easy to do, is it? No, it really isn't. Two more. Okay, what's that feel like to you? And the reason I ask you that is because I want to be able to speak in your terms. I want to know what it feels like to you. I know what it feels like to me. Yeah. It actually feels like a sort of a heel to toe, almost like an inside out motion. Uh, but, it, but it also feels like my putter is sustaining um, uh, a, squareness. a square impact all the way through the stroke. It feels like my putter blade is able to stay square a lot longer. And that's the key is that we find something that 
you can identify with, something you can take out to the golf course and help you score a little better. And like you said, to you it feels this way, to somebody else it might feel a different way. Right. So making sure, number one, I'll put that down there for a sec, that we have the proper setup, nice and relaxed, arms hanging, the proper stroke, and then using a device such as this putting arc, you can go to theputtingarc.com or Google it up, I highly recommend you get one of these can help you definitively tell what your stroke should feel like and we know that better putting leads to better scoring. No question and uh, with these proper fundamentals it just takes a lot of practice doesn't it? Practice, practice, practice. That's how you get to Carnegie Hall. Guys well you just heard it. I mean you can drastically lower those handicaps and scores and have a lot more fun out there by working a little bit more on your putting, a little less on that driving range, pounding that driver. That's all the time we've got this week. Thanks to our sponsors. Thanks to the Island Golf School, Chris Tremblay, for your, you. your direction. And, man, you do look schnazzy, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Look forward to seeing you soon. That's all the time we have. We'll see you next week.